What's up, guys? This your boy Flexington Curry, and we back again with some more breaking hip hop news. All right, so Kodak Black, Kodak Black fingerprints was found on a gun used in March shooting, along with Porsche car rental. All right, well, we all know that Kodak Black, you know, what I'm saying, Mr. Transporting. Um, Project Baby has been going in and out of things, especially just recently with the crossing the border of Canada and everything. And <clears throat> this is just another one of those things. But we're going to get into it. Let's get into it, guys. The feds have built the case against Kodak Black and are now saying the Florida rapper's fingerprints have been linked to a shooting back in March, along with a rental car rented by Kodak Black. Oh, man. Can we say, oh, man? Oh, man. According to TMZ, prosecutors say Kodak bought three weapons and more than 100 rounds of ammo back in February from Lou's police distributors. A federal firearms license in Halle, Florida, or Halle, Florida, that purchased prosecutors allege was facilitated after Kodak lied on a January gun application. Kodak dropped 3000 Five hundred eighteen dollars and seventy one cent for a mini Draco pistol. Sig MPX K nine millimeter pistol and Sig P two three eight and a three eighty pistol. Whoa. This dude sounded like he was trying to go to war. Allegedly. Back in March, Kodak Black rented a Porsche Panamera, which was used in a shooting in Pompano, Pompano or Pompano Beach, Florida, where Kodak grew up. The intended target of the shooting was allegedly another local rapper, but instead a house was shot up with kids inside the house. Luckily, no one was hit during the shooting. They say the Porsche Panamera was damaged badly and left abandoned. Law enforcement responded to the scene and found several spent castings and the MPXK Kodak boy in February. Prosecutors say the weapon had Kodak's fingerprints and a live round in the chamber that jammed during the shooting. Damn. Say no to jamming. Witnesses say Kodak was seen around the crime scene. At the time of the shooting, Kodak's attorney, Bradford Cohen, tells TMZ he's yet to see any type of reports that show Kodak's fingerprints on the gun. Additionally, prosecutors admitted that the weapon found on scene never fired, he adds. Or he adds, witnesses came forward to us as well and stated they did not see Kodak Black at the scene that night. I don't know what's going on. This 